Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. Guys, today I will show you how to display the images in the square boxes or in a grid format. Okay, as you can see on my screen right now, I have displayed this nine images in the square boxes like this way. So I will explain you how you guys can implement the same thing in your JavaFX application so first i will explain the concept behind the scene then i will show you the code as well and i will describe the each component of the code step by step for the easiness i have given the download link of the same project in the description so you guys can download the same project from that link and you can import the same project in the netbeans id and you guys can do more experiment as per your need so guys let's get started now I will explain you the concept that I am using in this example okay guys so first of all what we have we have this stage okay this is the outer stage and inside this I am taking a tile pen okay guys I am using the fxml so with the help of scene builder I have added a tile pane here on this stage okay guys I will show you once we go inside the coding part okay also in this stage I have taken one button for loading the images so I have given the name loading images to this button okay so the activity is going on once you click on this button so if you do any click activity on this button so this will open a folder selection dialog box okay so this is the folder selection dialog box so once the folder selection dialog box is open you have to select the folder that is containing the images okay these are the images that I want to display in the square boxes on the stage so suppose this is our folder which have the images that we want to display okay so with the help of this folder select dialog we have to select this image folder okay guys once we done it on the action of uh, selection once you select we are fetching the images file and we are preparing this file array okay and each file will be accessed from this array after that we have to create a vbox object so inside the vbox we are putting a image view okay to display the images so image view is behaving like a placeholder image view we are using here image view for putting up the image okay guys so with the help of this image view we are setting the image so image view is a placeholder for an image okay guys once we done this step in the last step we have to place this v box inside the tile pan so once you do that the first image will display here in the box so this is the v box step by step we will load all the images that are inside the file array so we have to use the for loop for doing the same thing we will repeat this we will repeat the same process we creating the v box and setting the image in the image view and putting the image view in v box and after that we are putting this v box inside the tile pan so in the same way all nine images will display one by one so like 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो ऑल नाइन इमेजेस विल डिस्प्ले सो द टाइल पैन हैज अ वेरी यूजफुल मैथड विच इज एड मैथड सो यू गाइज हैव टू पुट दिस वी बॉक्स नोड इन साइड द टाइल पैन एड मैथड हियर दैट सिंपल सो गाइज दिस वॉज द कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर यूजिंग टू डिस्प्ले द इमेजेस इन द स्क्वायर बॉक्सेस I hope uh, you have a clear understanding now come to the coding part So now guys I will explain you the code here that I have written for you So here this is the simple java fxml based project in the netbeans ide and we have these files also this is the background image that I am using to set in the background of the stage and after that we have an fxml file we have a controller file and we have a javafx grid view file which has a start method okay now i will show you the fxml design so this is the fxml and simply we have one anchor pan and uh, inside the anchor pan i am using this tile pan okay also he on the code section i have assigned the fx id to this tile pan okay and now in the bottom we have one uh, button the simple button so and uh, also i have i have assigned fx id to this button and the action handler method assigned this is handle button action method okay guys now let me close this now come here in the netbeans so first we will start from this file javafx grid view file which has a start method so the main thing what i have done here at line number 24 i am setting a background image on the stage so i have to write this code root dot set style and this is the style fx background image and you have to pass the url okay so this is my background dot png image and uh, let me show you so this is the this is the black background image okay so this is the code for setting the background image okay guys that's all for this file and now come here in the fxml document controller dot java file which is the main file okay guys from the beginning so as usual we are using this add direct fxml annotation and uh, the using the tile pan reference okay so this is the tile pan reference which is the fx id of the tile pen that i have shown you here in the scene builder right here you can see okay in the same way we have one button okay and uh, this is the anchor pen okay i have also assigned the fxml id to this anchor pen Okay, now here I'll come down and at line number forty-seven and uh, forty-eight, I have defined the n rows, an integer, and uh, n columns. The another integer that will, the first will show, the first will <coughs> reflect the rows, and the second is for the columns. So I am going to show three rows and three column. Okay. and uh, at the line number 50 you can see we have defined the, the element size variable which is double and uh, it it is assigned and the 100 is assigned to this variable okay and uh, the another variable i have created which is gap that means if you placing two square boxes so how much gap you want to set uh between these two square boxes so we are calculating the gap at this line okay and uh, this is the useful thing this is the file array okay we are reading the images images image files from the folder okay and then we are storing inside the file array <coughs> so guys this is the first method which is the action handler method for the button for this load image button okay guys so what activity 
will happen here let me click this one once you click this will open a folder selection dialog okay once you select the folder okay like uh, I have to select the folder which has the images so I have some images like this folder is a test image folder now I have selected this one okay so what activity is going on behind the scene so the this directory chooser dialog box reading all the images and storing in this file jpg array okay once it is done we are going to call this create elements method okay now we have to understand what is this create elements method basically this is loading the images okay and putting inside the tile pen you can see we have a reference of the tile pen okay now come inside this method so here is the method this is a very simple thing we are using a for loop and another nested for loop because we are uh, setting the images in the row and column wise in the 2d array format okay so I have to use these two for loop okay and the line number 102 is most important so what we are doing we have to set the images inside the tile pen so we have to use this add method okay and here we have to pass a node okay and what is the node that is simple now come here in this method this is the create page method okay so the create page method is returning a v box okay v box simply a class so i have defined the width and the height which is equal so it will create a square box and inside the square box we are setting the image view object okay and with the help of image view object we are putting an image inside it okay and finally we are returning the v box with the help of this create page method and this v box node is going inside the tile pen okay so by using the method tile pen dot get children dot add and here we are passing the v box node okay so now the tile pan is loaded with one square box similar way the loop is going on and one by one we are loading one more image inside the square box and putting inside the tile pan like this so now you can see here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so this is the loop that is loading the images on this stage one by one okay guys and few more things like here i have set the vbox style that is the basic thing we have a set style method of vbox class so you can set the style so here i have set the border of the square box okay so i have changed the color of the box now it will show orange you can see here the orange color border is showing here in all these boxes so this was the whole code the same project download link is given in the description box so you guys can download and you can use it I hope this concept is clear to you I'm going to ex uh, review one more time what we have done we have simply doing a click on this load image button then a folder selector dialog box will open and you have to select a folder which has the images once you select that folder that images will read and we will store in the file array and after that we are calling this method so this method is doing the activity this is 
picking up the image one by one and putting inside the V box okay and then this V box adding to the tile pan with the help of loop so all the images loaded in this file array one by one will be placed inside the tile pan so this was the whole concept i hope this is clear to you guys if you have any doubt questions so please comment below i will try my best to reply as soon as possible guys if you found this video useful so please like share and subscribe and keep watching cool it help